All right, welcome back again. Uh, so it's time to start on our next view controller. Uh, we're gonna be starting in on the task detail view controller. And kind of like we did on the other one, we'll kind of do it a little bit at a time. So in this one, we're gonna kind of make it uh, and just kind of start getting things set up. What we're gonna do with this one, if you remember like the very, very beginning is when you click on the add button, uh, it's gonna like pop up from the bottom. Um, or if you click on one to edit, it'll just pop up from the bottom. So that's gonna be our goal. So to start things off, let's go ahead and go back over to our project and let's go ahead and make a custom uh, UI view controller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click on view controllers and say new file. I'm gonna go up into the Cocoa Touch source area uh, and I'm gonna say, it's like the last time I think I made was a uh, NS object, yours is probably already set to view controller. And I'm gonna make a task detail view controller. Detail is just kind of the word where you show just one of something, right? So you're getting the details for the object. So task detail view controller, pretty standard name. Uh, language is still Objective-C for this app. Uh, once you've got that created, just because we're here, I'm just going to kind of set up a little bit of stuff. Um, so the things that I'm going to set up are kind of what is the point of this, of this view controller. And the point of it is that it's going to be creating and modifying a uh, task, right? So one of the things we're going to want is we're going to want either the list uh, that a task is going to be on. So I'm just going to have a property called list. Uh, you know, no, no surprise there are my names. Um, I'm also going to have another one called task. And the reason I know that these two are going to be useful is that if I'm doing a create, I need to know the parent list, right? So somebody's going to have to set that on me. Um, if I'm doing an edit, well, I have to have the task that I'm editing. So one path or the other is going to get used. Uh, and I just thought I'd go ahead and stub out some of this just because I know it's coming later, right? I mean, it's still a ways later. Um, I went ahead and I was good about uh, doing the at class thing of the .h file. But to be honest, I don't really think it matters because usually I just come right over um, and I import them in the .m file. No big deal. Uh, you could also clean it up a little bit if you wanted, uh, so you could blow away. Uh, did receive memory warning, that's fine. Uh, you can actually blow away prepare for segue because nobody, this doesn't launch anything else, right? This is kind of like a leaf node, so you can kill that. Um, view did load will keep uh, just because much later we'll do stuff here, right? So not for a while, uh, but there you go. So just kind of stubbing in some things. I'm not going to actually write any code this time. I just you know, just made the file and thought I'd stick a couple things in it. Where we're going to spend most of our time this video is over in the storyboard. So go ahead and fire up the storyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a view controller. So I'm just going to stick a view controller on here. Uh, with my screen recording, it's of course huge mungus. Uh, so if I double click in the white space, I can kind of arrange it a little better. I'm just going to stick it below the other guys. Uh, it looks like I can barely get things on here. Uh, such that it kind of looks like this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set the custom class on him. Uh, so if I go over here, I want to set him to be a task detail view controller. Uh, so now he's a task detail view controller. Another thing I would like to do is, uh, what the heck, I'll go ahead and set his background color. Uh, so just his view. I'm going to go ahead and set it to just kind of a light gray. Uh, just so we can kind of see um, whenever he's up. You know, we can kind of see he's up because he'll just be a light gray background. Next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to make a segue uh, such that you could show this guy. We're going to be showing him whenever you hit the plus button and we're going to be showing him when you click a row. So we could have, you know, two separate segues, like one when you click the button and then a separate one for when you click the row. And to be honest, that would be fine. But instead, I wanted to show you what's called a manual segue. Um, and so in order to make a manual segue, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to right click drag uh, from this view controller. If I had more screen real estate, I would probably do it from this little orange circle because that's how I do things. But given the amount of screen real estate I have, I, I can't reach it. Um, I'm going to have to do it using the outline over here. So I'm just going to right click drag uh, from the task uh, table view controller uh, over to this guy. And what I'm going to do is I want it to pop up from the bottom. Um, it's going to be a modal presentation. When you present something modally, it kind of like, it, it's kind of like a dialogue box, right? Um, except for it just takes over the whole screen. Uh, I should back up, why are we doing this at all? Um, we could 
just use a dialogue for what we're doing in the follow along because the dialogue would be fine. We, we would just say what the task is, mow the lawn, right? Um, and then whether it started or not, we just wouldn't care. What I'm doing here is I'm giving you a whole view controller instead of just a dialogue to do it in because I know that the lab is going to require you to do a lot more. So to be honest, anytime you can do just a dialogue, do it, right? You save a ton of time. But I know that in the lab you're going to need more, so I'm just kind of preparing for that. Back on path. So we've got a segue. Uh, when the segue needs a name, uh, I'll just show. I'll just say show task detail segue. Uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, going to do next, you don't know me very well, uh, and that is that I'm going to go stick it in uh, the task view controller. Oh man, I couldn't find it for a second there because mine are out of order. I've got to fix the order here. Right click on this and say sort by name. All right, there they go, they're in order. Uh, so I've got on my clipboard the name of that segue. Sorry again, I go super fast when I do these things. Fortunately, it is a video, so you can you can slow it down uh, if, you, <laughs> if you need. Um, so who needed this? The task view controller needs this because he's gonna be the one who fires that segue. Um, and so he's gonna need to know that name. Back over into the storyboard. Uh, how is he going to fire it? Uh, because there's currently no um, no plus button up here. So I'm going to need a plus button, and I'm going to fire it that way. And then later when I'm doing updates, if I click on a cell, uh, it'll fire it as well. So I need a plus button. Uh, a plus button is called a bar button item. You can try to drag it up here, but it, it won't want to go. Like, it won't snap in. Uh, and that's because this table view controller doesn't have a navigation item yet. Um, so like if you look at master, it's got the table view and then a navigation item. Um, this one that we made, it doesn't have a navigation item yet. A navigation item is something that sits in a navigation bar. You get the navigation bar for free, but you don't get the navigation item for free. Um, you can just drop it anywhere in here because uh, it's gonna snap to the top for you. <clears throat> it says title, uh, that's gonna get overridden already. We've already got that code. Um, all I really wanted, the navigation item, uh, was so that I could put in a bar button. So if I say bar button, now it drops in there a lot cleaner. The type of bar button I'm going to use, I'm going to use the identifier for add. I'm just going to get a plus button, uh, and that's going to be superific. I love that word, superific. When somebody clicks on that plus button, I'd like to uh, call a function. So I'm going to go to the taskViewController.h file. So you can see there's not really much here yet. There was the list. Um, and interestingly enough, there are no uh, IB outlets or IB actions. So we're going to add our first one. I'm going to put it just right around there. And I'm going to say pressed uh, add task. And then because I like to do it, I'm going to fix the way it does the spacing because I like to <laughs> have it be a certain way. And then I'm going to go back over and I'm going to look at uh, what I've done. So in the .h file, I've got this pressed add task. Uh, it's going to also add it to the .m file, and it's probably going to put it in a terrible spot. It's going to put it at the very, very bottom. You know, I'm not sure where I want it, but I'm pretty sure I don't want it at the very, very bottom. Uh, I'll just come up here above all the table stuff uh, and stick it here. So whenever they press uh, the add task, what we want to do is we want to we want to make that segue happen. Right? So I've got a segue all ready to go. It just It's called a manual segue. Uh, so if you go look at it and you can go to the details over here, it's a manual segue that presents modally. Right. So all I have to do is I have to run that segue. So I'm going to say self perform segue. Uh, you have to get to the G before it auto completes for you. The segue we're going to complete, uh, I should have a constant for the show task detail segue. Uh, sender is like, you know, who caused this segue to happen? And so if it was caused by like clicking on a cell in the table, the sender would be like the object for that cell. But since this is an add, uh, there's just going to be nil. Later, much later, we'll make sure to pass in uh, things to that view controller. But for now, honestly, I just want to run it. So I've got uh, a segue, so I can go into to any of these. Um, and if I uh, see the plus button, if I click on it, 
uh, that other view controller should pop up from the bottom. Cool, excellent. Uh, if you if you ran this like I did uh, and it worked, um, you'll notice that now we've kind of got a problem, right? This this is not a very good production app uh, because we can't we can't do anything with it, right? We can't even leave this page. Um, if you did have a problem, by the way, just just go back and just kind of look in the video for for what went wrong. So I don't want to solve all of life's problems, but I would like to at least be able to close the thing, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over uh, to the storyboard uh, and I'm going to add kind of like the bare minimum. Um, and that bare minimum is that I'm going to add a toolbar. Uh, I'm just going to plop it down right here at the bottom. Uh, that toolbar, I'm just going to give constraints for left and right and bottom. Um, and I just want them all to be zero, 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 not relative to the margin, but like all the way to the edge. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, make that not say item. Uh, I want it to say cancel. So I'm just going to implement a cancel button um, and that'll be good enough for me now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open up my assistant uh, so that I can actually make a connection. Uh, so we've got our two, our list and our task there. Uh, and we're just going to go and drop over our first action, uh, which is press cancel. And again, I, I mess up all the time and accidentally add outlets in situations like that. And if you do, uh, just, just open up the connections inspector. So you click on the view controller, the connections inspector. And if you messed one up, just, just blow away the one that you messed up, right? I do that so often, it's, it's insane. All right, so I've got a pressed cancel. Uh, and so I'm gonna click on pressed cancel. Uh, so I'm hitting command and then click for pressed cancel. Uh, and it's doing nothing. It should really have gone into the .m file there. I guess things just weren't saved. Uh, not sure what that's all about. It's right there. All right, so I manually went over here uh, with uh, command control up. Shortcut keys, by the way, are, are awesome. And what I want to do is when somebody presses cancel, uh, I just want to simply dismiss. So I think it's called Dismiss View Controller, uh, and it's got an option to be animated or not. So yes, I want to be animated, um, and I don't need to have any callback blocks when it finishes. So I'm just going to say Completion Nil. Cool. So now I can go into any list. I'll go into this one. I can click on the plus button. It pops up, uh, and now I've got to cancel, uh, and it can go away. So you can kind of see how um, modals show up. They take over the whole screen. They're similar in a lot of ways to what we do with just dialog boxes, uh, but now you've got more screen real estate uh, in this modal. Cool, so I'm actually gonna just catch up the slides and call that good enough, right? So we created that file. Um, I put in placeholder list and task for much later, right? Like many videos later. Um, the list isn't useful if you're doing a create because you have to know who to create the, the task within. The task is useful if you're doing an edit. Um, and then we just kind of stubbed in some code into the .m. Most of the things we did here were in the storyboard. We created that view controller, set the custom class. Uh, we made a uh, plus button. Uh, we made a segue to present things uh, modally. It was a manual segue. Uh, the identifier we got set up. The background of this view controller we got set up. And then whenever you click add task, it performs that manual segue. Uh, and then we added just a simple cancel button to the bottom. Uh, and what that cancel button did is it dismissed the view controller animated. Cool. All right. So I think that's enough for now. We'll see you back here next time. Uh, and we'll start flushing out some more details of this task detail view controller. All right. See you then.